It is one of the most vexing questions of the revolutionary era why so many of our great founders were simultaneously slaveholders. The founders are the most creative political generation in American history. Here are these great men who created the nation and yet they have, they have blood on their hands. So the truth is, is that among the major Southern founders, most of them are slaveholders. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, Patrick Henry, George Mason, on and on and on. The American Revolution is the world's first popular revolution based on these fundamental ideas of liberty. And how can people who spoke words are like all men are created equal still hold hundreds of thousands of people in bondage? We need to put ourselves in their shoes and ask ourselves, could they have done more? Slavery was big business. An average field hand would sell for about $25,000 to $40,000 in today's money. And it was the Deep South that said, if you don't keep slavery in documents like the Constitution, we're not gonna sign it. We can look at slavery as something of which to be ashamed, or we can look at it as something to grow beyond. George Washington looked very energetically for a way to finance the emancipation of his slaves. And for a variety of reasons, he couldn't do it. Especially as Madison is getting older, and he always talks about slavery. He is literally haunted by it. It shouldn't just be seen as a simplistic story of hypocrisy that, that goes wrong. They started the conversation about liberty, equality, justice, and freedom. They didn't end the conversation, they started it.